You might be thinking about which Linux distro is the best to get started in 2021 and which is the most beautiful Linux distro of 2021. Hey what's up guys, Gaius Kiral here. In this video, I will show you the top 6 best wonderful and beautiful Linux distros of 2021 that you could start using. The distros which I will be talking about in a moment is based on my research on Linux forums and all these distros can be used from naive users to high-end users to get the taste of Linux distro in 2021. But before that, if in case you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there and turn on the bell icon to receive the post notifications. That being said, let's start exploring the top 6 wonderful Linux distros of 2021. At number 1, we are having the gorgeous and the most beautiful macOS version of Big Sur, the none other than Deepin OS 20. Yep, this is a very close to the user interface of the latest macOS 11, Big Sur. Deepin OS version 20 uses the latest version of Deepin Desktop Environment, which is a fantastic and eye-pleasing Linux distro that provides an immersive macOS lookalike user experience. Every element of Deepin OS has been taken care of and crafted very well and looks like a big sir. From dock menu to launch pad, everything looks fantastic. I mean, just have a look at the start menu. The background blur with a crisp text makes Deepin OS a super stunning Linux distro. You may find the customizable dock, along with that you can change the way it should look by changing a different desktop modes. Deep in desktop environment allows you to customize the look of the desktop by changing the system themes, wallpapers, as well as accent colors. One of my favorites of Deepin OS version 20 is the notification center, which looks incredible. Though it doesn't look like the revamped notification center of Mac OS Big Sur, but still it does look awesome. When it comes to system applications of Deepin OS, it comes with all basic necessary tools like a video player, finder, office toolkit, and many other useful applications which helps you in getting started with Deepin OS very easily. Deepin OS uses a Debian package mechanism to install or remove any software packages. Also, there is an app store available where you can find out thousands of applications to download. Overall, I would say, look-wise, Deepin OS version 20 is the most gorgeous and incredible Linux distro, which is the most addictive Linux distro that I have ever used. Performance-wise, you need to have a better hardware with at least 4 gigs of RAM to unleash the full potential of this Linux distro. There are no compliance in terms of performance, it handles everything very easily, and I can say it is a super stable distro that you should try. At number 2, we are having the beautiful Elementary OS. Elementary OS is a reliable and robust Linux distro that looks very similar to Mac OS Mavericks. This distro is designed to look like a retro Mac OS and provides a cutting edge user experience. Elementary OS is based on Ubuntu LTS with Pantheon desktop environment. In one word, Elementary OS is a combination of Ubuntu with a Pantheon desktop environment. Along with that, you would get a standalone features from Elementary developers. When it comes to the user interface, as I said, this distro reminds me the retro version of Mac OS. Take a look at the dock, the applications menu, 
the calendar and system control, everything looks magnificent. The built-in system theme applied for all default applications gives you a stunning, mind-blowing visual user experience. All the default applications that comes with the elementary OS are fantastic. When it comes to multitasking, using the hot corners control option, you can view all of the running applications. These hot corners gives a full power to the end user that helps in quickly doing some actions by hovering the cursor to the edge of the screen. Since this distro is based on Ubuntu LTS, you can use APT and Debian Package Manager to install or remove the packages. Also, there is an app store available to download thousands of useful applications. Overall, I would say if you are a long-term macOS user or looking for a retro-based macOS lookalike Linux distro, then definitely this one is made for you. You can expect this distro performs like a charm but keep in mind, this distro uses a lot of system resources to run very smoothly. Apart from that, Elementary OS is a super stunning Linux distro that can be used for coding to general purposes. At number 3, we are having Manjaro. Manjaro is one of the best Arch-based Linux distros that provides a high-performance desktop experience for both laptops and PC. I would say this is the best in class when it comes to power. If you're coming from Windows 10, Manjaro is going to be the best supplement for your necessities. For naive users, I will suggest installing a GNOME edition of Manjaro that is very easy to use. It resembles a quite similar look to Windows UI and is much responsive. The built-in layout application lets you choose a different layout of the desktop that makes user experience more flexible. The standard GNOME layout explicitly looks similar to Windows UI. It features a start menu where you get to see all of the installed applications in the system, the taskbar as well as system controls. Also, Manjaro has a huge collection of software available in the Arch repositories. You can either use a command line tool called Pacman to install any package or you can use a graphical tool to download and install any software. The team of Manjaro has simplified the way of installing a third-party software in a much easier way, meaning you don't need to download any software from the browser and extract it to install. Instead, they are already made available from the software center. This would be pretty useful for beginners to download and install any package along with the dependencies very easily. Now, one thing I like about Manjaro is that it provides a way to install any kernel right from the built-in system application called Manjaro Settings. Overall, I would say, unlike other Linux operating systems, Manjaro Linux provides a full control over your hardware without any restrictions and this is the number one Arch-based Linux distro that you can use blindly if you are a sort of getting into the Linux field. At number 4, we are having the developers friendly Pop OS. Pop OS is the optimized version of Ubuntu LTS to the hardware that brings a super fast performance to the end users. System76 is the team behind made this Linux distro and delivers a minimal user experience. When it comes to the user interface, Pop OS comes with a finely tuned GNOME desktop. The overall user interface looks very natural, and the default Pop theme has applied throughout the system that looks fantastic. Pop OS uses a mint accent color throughout the system combined with a modern font that attracts the end user. Also, Pop OS comes with a built-in dark theme and nightlight that can be used at night times.
The default GNOME experience on the top of Pop! OS is much, much faster than other GNOME-based distros. Everything is super snappy. The animations are quicker and transitions are a lot quicker through all the system. When it comes to default applications, Pop! OS features the most of the necessary applications like Firefox, Mail, Office Toolkit, and more. And some of the useful applications for naive users are included, such as USB Flasher, ID Package Manager, and more. Since Pop! OS is based on Ubuntu, we can either use APT or Flatpak mechanisms to install any software from the terminal. Another way of installing apps in Pop! OS is from the Pop! Shop. The Pop! Shop is a graphical application that holds a ton of useful applications and can be installed with one simple click. Overall, I would say Pop! OS is the fastest and powerful Ubuntu-based desktop distro with a GNOME desktop that provides an impeccable user experience to the end user. For those who are looking for a distro that never lags, then this is the one you must try. At number 5, we are having the most stylish Linux distro named Gorilla Linux. Gorilla Linux is based on Arch that features a super sleek user interface and incredible features that comes preloaded out of the box. This distro comes in different desktop environments like KDE Plasma, GNOME Desktop, XFCE, and more. The one which I'm using is the KDE Plasma modified version, meaning it comes with an amazing theme out of the box that looks eye candy. Along with that, the developers have added a blur effect throughout the system, and the super fancy animations that flow throughout the system attract the user while navigating the system UI. In other words, it is a well customized KDE Plasma with a beautiful theme. Apart from UI, this distro features a BTRS file system instead of XT4. BTRS is a copy on write system intended to address a various weaknesses in current Linux file systems. The primary focus points of this distro include a fault tolerance, repair, and easy administration. If you talk about the features, oh boy, this distro offers a tons of features that requires a separate full review video. A few of them include, it comes with automatic snapshots out of the box using a time shift, Garuda settings manager to tweak the system, and a lot of GUI tools that are pre-installed. Since this distro is based on app manager to download or update the packages. Overall, I would say Garuda is a rolling Linux distro that receives the latest software from time to time and keeps your system up to date. From naive users to beginners, anyone can use this distro for their workflow. Last but not the least, everyone's favorite and the most user-friendly popular Linux distro, Ubuntu. Ubuntu is one of the best Linux distro for getting started into Linux operating system. This distro has gained huge popularity in the Linux industry and thanks to the growing community of Ubuntu for working immensely to improve the system. Ubuntu comes with GNOME as a default desktop which looks very minimal and provides a super fast, lag-free user experience. Throughout the system while navigating, you may feel the OS seem to be optimized better in the latest version. Along with the GNOME desktop, you do get a GTK-based application such as a Thunderbird Mail, Firefox browser, Office Toolkit, Media Players, and more. All these basic pre-installed applications let you get started working with Ubuntu Linux. Since Ubuntu is based on Debian, you can use the APT package mechanism to download the software via terminal. Another way to download software is through the App Store. Ubuntu App Store provides a ton of free applications that you can download for free. 
Overall, I would say Ubuntu comes with a long-term release, meaning once you install the software on your computer, you will be able to get the software and security patches for up to 5 years. This keeps your system up to date and all the latest features will be shipped to the system from time to time. From basic users to high-end users, Ubuntu is a sweet spot to get started into exploring Linux. And that's pretty much it. These are the list of top 6 wonderful Linux distros of 2021 that you should try. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments down below. If in case you like these kind of videos, hit the thumbs up button down there. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see a versatile tech videos. Also give me your suggestions and queries in the comment section down below and I consider improving my channel. Thanks for watching this video. This has been KS Kirayo. I'll catch you in my next video.